guys, sorry I haven't posted in a whole week, but dealing with the stocks has been really exhausting. Um, so it's been really hard to produce content. But this is what the left wants. They want to exhaust us emotionally, break us down, and when we are tired and defeated, we will give up and be silent. But defeat is not really in my nature. So this experience has ultimately emboldened me. Um, it has also illuminated the importance of what we're fighting for here and made me realize how small and insignificant my own ego is comparatively. I've heard Steven Crowder and a few others say that even if Hillary is elected, America's heart will keep beating. I believe it was Richard Spencer that said that Trump isn't our last hope, but he's our first hope. I want to believe that this is true, but I know in my heart that a Clinton presidency is the final nail in the coffin for Western civilization. We are so close to the brink that even a Trump presidency may not save us. The better estimates put around 25 million illegal immigrants in the country that only have allegiance to their ethnicity. Hillary Clinton will give amnesty, perhaps to all of them, and allow them to suck indefinitely on the federal government's giant teat. Further, she's going to allow tens of thousands of virtually unvetted Muslims into the country. We will have a Pulse nightclub shooting every week um, that we'll be more susceptible to because Hillary is definitely going to enact gun restrictions. Hillary, by her own admission, will continue this insane money creation made worse by her stance on free college. Central banks have gone rogue and can no longer control the effects of decades of debt accrual. The stock market is a house of cards, as is the massively overvalued housing market. The dollar, when it is known that we can never repay our debts, which we cannot, will become massively devalued. Racial tensions have reached levels of combustion in several American cities. The black community is being rewarded for criminality and Black Lives Matter is being funded with hundreds of millions of dollars from various companies and leftists. White people are being punished for the color of their skin and are called racist like I have been this week for accurately, accurately reporting on black crime. Feminism has run amok and rendered most of two generations of women completely useless. It has also feminized men. Rejecting masculinity has also softened the millennial mind and made it impossible for so many millennials to hear counter arguments without responding with infantile emotional reactions. The Clinton campaign has created riots to frame Trump supporters. They have aligned their interests with groups that fund ISIS. They have taken complete control of the mainstream media and strong arm networks and journalists uh, to support their campaign, lest their careers and reputations be destroyed like we've seen with Donna Brazil, um, maybe even worse. And this is just what we know. We are living in a Norwellian nightmare that we have allowed to cloak our existence through our own complacency. Even with the information provided by WikiLeaks, most Americans are choosing to ignore this horrible corruption because they do not want to disrupt their lives. Right now, we are on the precipice of slipping even deeper into a world of censorship, of control, and of authoritarianism. So at this crossroad, it's important for us to ask, what can we do? Make no mistake, we will not recover as a country from a Clinton presidency. The world will never recover either. This is our last opportunity to save our culture, which has brought more prosperity to the world than any other in the history of mankind. If we legitimately elect a warmongering criminal while knowing the depths of her crimes, I don't really know if our country or our culture deserves to be saved. This has been a really sad realization for me this week, which is probably why I seem so forlorn. But if the election is stolen, however, it is our duty to continue fighting. And this is where I need to enlist your help. We are too deep into this election cycle for anyone to still be hiding. This is a cultural election and a culture war. If you care about this country and its values, if you care about our constitutional freedoms, if you care about protecting your heritage and your culture, it is your duty to stop fearing social repercussion and to stand behind your principles.